mom's name was Sarah. He used to wear a newspaper in his senior shoes. You're a wanted man. I don't do that anymore. Well, the people who think you did are coming right now. And they're not planning on taking you alive. Welcome guys to um, another edition of Cyberpunks. Today we're going to be reviewing a movie that is near and dear to a lot of Marvel fans' hearts. And unfortunately, yeah, no, not pointing anybody out, uh, but uh, this one, <laughs> we're going to give this, this version is going to be the non-spoiler review. Um, and then we're going to also upload a spoiler review. We don't want to spoil the movie for anybody that has not seen it yet. Because the spoiler review, it, we, we're going to dive in depth to the story. Um, we're going to dive in depth to our opinions about the character development. Um, as well as the interaction that we felt with the movie. Um, but this version is a non-spoiler review, so don't, don't be afraid. We're not going to talk about anything that gives away the story. That's going to be for the next video. Without further ado, we'll dive into it for the Marvel fanboy. Listen. I, I'll and this is Cyberpunks. <laughs> Wow. Go ahead. On to you, um, jerk. I have to. Well, oh, why y'all call me names, man? I, I, I just said Marvel listen, fanboy. Listen, I am not a Marvel fanboy. Because of your rating. That's I'm an equal you, opportunity fanboy for every last DC Marvel. Uh, Where to go? Let's, let's try to get without the. Because I'm not gonna be able to change it. What I'm trying to say is that I completely, utterly enjoyed Civil War. Now, see, let's, let's touch on that because for me, <laughs> now I'm gonna get a lot of backlash and attack from Marvel fans. Let's, 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 let's clarify one thing here. I grew up on Marvel comics. I fell in love with Wolverine and the X-Men, which is, was, for me, was my favorite story arc of all of Marvel. I grew up on that. I wasn't a really big Captain America fan. So there's some people that'll say, oh, well, because you're not a Captain America fan, you don't like the movie. It's not true. I still like Marvel. My issue is more so with Marvel Studios. My issue with Marvel, and, it, and it's the same thing we see in this movie, and people who are real... And let, let me side, let me, let me sidetrack, side note. One thing I don't understand is, if people who are real fans of the comic, these basic Marvel fanboys, how could you support such injustice of the story? I don't understand that. To me, if you want to be creative in a story, how about you pick, you know, a gray area, you know, and, and build upon that. You don't have to give us frame by frame what's in the comic, but at least respect the story. You you can have certain variations in the in the Marvel movie universe. There's not a okay, my issue is not No, you're, you're 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 a purist. That's your problem. You're I'm a, a purist. purist. You, no. You wanted you wanted I wanted Civil War. If you're gonna call this movie Civil War, let's be clear, if you have not seen this movie and you're watching this review, spoilers. This is not Civil War. It was a Civil War. To me, it's not Civil It was a Civil War within the Avengers, okay? If we talk about what the Okay. Now you're just playing. What is no, no, what no, is no, what no. is the what is what is the Civil War story arc? It's about mutant registration, it's about superheroes revealing their identity. No. That's Civil he's using, War. No, he's Listen, using the actual, hey, remember the, the actual Civil literally. War? North uh, North versus South? Hey, it was it was six Avengers versus the other six Avengers. One didn't want to register, the other one that. did. Civil that's, War. But that's not no, that's not what they were playing off of. They were playing off of the fact that this is a Civil War because there is a comic story arc named Civil War. So let's let's not see. This is what Marvel fanboys do. No, no, you try to justify. That is not what Marvel fa fanboys do. Justice. What I'm trying to say. Stories. What I'm okay. trying to say. It was a, it was an awesome movie. It was just awesome. And you are being a DC far. fanboy. First of all, let's be clear. I just said I grew up on Marvel. Okay, my problem is with Marvel Studios. I don't have a problem with Marvel. I'm, I'm the only for DC. The only, the only thing that I like about Marvel and what they have created, first of all, was Deadpool, for one. To me, which is the best superhero movie out right now that Marvel has put out, next to, of course, The Avengers, the first one. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy, amazing movie. Now, when, when you talk about certain people, there are certain other, there are other people on, online that have made reviews, and if I have my notes, I will call them out by name, but that have gone so far as to say, oh, this is the best superhero movie. Oh, thank you, superhero gods. If you've ever said that, you're a fucking asshole. Wow. <laughs> this is this is be clear. You're a fucking asshole. It, it, I mean, the movie was epic. It was not epic. It was very epic. It was not epic in the least. I mean, bit. I mean, number one, the story was. Do you awesome. think this movie was epic, Lee? 
I, I mean, the the fight scenes carried the the movie, and and there was and not fight scenes, the action sequences, which is fight scenes, rundowns, whatever, blah blah blah. They carried the movie because it was so much of it. It was, dude, it, out of out of a hundred percent action sequences was probably about uh, 65 70 percent of the movie. You know, and, and some people will sit here and look at this review and say, oh my God, that's amazing. It, it's it's 70% of the movie. But here's the problem I have with that. You don't allow the story to, to, to propel the action. At no point did I feel like this fight that was about to happen, I felt no buildup. The other issue that I have is that a lot of action sequences that they had in the movie were action sequences we have seen in the trailers. That's a big problem that I have with movies. You now multiply that times 10. I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. A lot, a, lot, a lot of the amazing <laughs> fight scenes were actually ones we've seen in the trailer. So, you know, there's there's one or two that you haven't seen. Now, one thing I will say is that the brothers, they, they did an amazing job with the fight choreography. We see that in Captain America Winter Soldier, you know, the standoff with Bucky and Captain America when he's switching hands with the knife. An amazing fight scene. They, do, they have amazing fight choreography. This movie, the choreography was awesome. The it was. story was awesome. The story was not awesome. The story was very awesome. I wasn't impressed by the story. And maybe, and I'll say this, I'll say this. And like we joked after the movie, I said, you know what? To me, the story would have been better if it wasn't called Captain America Civil War. What would you I, have called it then? Captain America, the Avengers, little spat. <laughs> That's what I would have called it. I would have said, I would have said <laughs> Captain America War. I mean, okay. But. Captain America Deliverance. Yeah, Big Trouble in Little China. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Civil War. So I'm going to say that now. Now, there are certain people that say this movie is amazing. It's not Civil War. Almost perfect, they would say. They would say almost perfect. I've, I heard someone say it was perfect. But, but, but wouldn't you say it is the greatest comic book movie ever? I would no. definitely not say that. No, I wouldn't. Hmm. Deadpool, better movie than Captain America Civil War. Would you agree? <laughs> Deadpool was better than Cap, man. Guardians Deadpool, of, Deadpool Guardians, Guardians of, of the Galaxy. Galaxy. Whoa, whoa, better movie whoa, whoa. than whoa. Captain America. Yeah, you done First that. Avengers was better than First Cap. Avengers, better than Captain America, Civil War. You won't, you won't, you won't give the Marvel movie universe latitude. Huh? That's what no, you won't, you no, won't give them. I'm no, I'm not giving Marvel Studios latitude no, to ruin a great story. You can't give you can't, Civil War is a great story. Would look, you agree? Look, yes. Look, this is the thing though. You, you can't ruin give, it. You can't give latitude by naming uh, Captain America Civil War. You could have been like Captain America, fucking uh, whatever the hell. <laughs> I mean, anybody. Bat Captain anybody. America Battle Between Two or something like that. Right. I mean, you know. Cause then you could do whatever you want. And, and, and to me, the ending was so disappointing. Oh, here's the thing. God. Here's the difference so between. So disappointing. Here's the difference between Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice. That's the title. It wasn't Batman vs Superman: The Dark Knight uh, Returns. It wasn't Batman vs Superman: The Death of Superman. It wasn't Batman vs Superman: Flashpoint Paradox. It wasn't these comic story arc titles attached to the name. Then you, when you attach a story arc title to the name, you have that you have responsibility to, to give me that movie. And I also think that, that a lot of what you have, a lot of Marvel thing, fans, the only thing in that movie that was related to that story arc was the fact that, that they, they fight, they fought against each other. Okay, so we can monologue about this shit all fucking day, apparently. So what we're gonna do right now is gonna give our honest reviews from one to ten, what we rate the movie. So what would you? Vote? No, 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 no. You go first. What? By all means, please go first. Oh, you're right. Fine. All right, all right. Okay, all right. Well, I watched. Uh, I watched the movie. I I was entertained, right? And a lot of quick wisecracks from uh, certain characters. Um, the fight see the the no, not the fight, but the action sequences that covers fight, chase, whatever, whatever. The action sequences pretty much devoured the movie. It took up most of it, and for you quick bang bang shoot 'em up types and explosions, Michael Bay, all that shit. But me, a person that likes action and story, I, I would have to give it a, a, a six point five, and I hate it because I'm a comic book fan. Uh. You okay? You done? Okay. Yeah, I'm good. No, did you have a moment. Just yeah, I did. I did, okay. man. I had high expectations, and I think that actually played a part in it too, because everybody's like, "Oh, this is the greatest comic book movie ever." I was looking, I was looking, I was looking for some, but but close. 
Seven. Okay, seven. Hell no. I'm gonna give it. You can't uh, fucking yeah. do that. I can't. You cannot give. I'm gonna edit that shit out. You can't do that. Six point five. Six point eight. Oh. Six point. Seven. You know what? Six point seven. There we go. Perfect. Yes. Six point seven. All right. Next. That is fucking. I'm crazy. happy. Gaio, what do you rate the movie? <laughs> On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I gave it an 8. But after careful review, once again, 8.5. <laughs> Wait, and wh why? Why? What was the... What? Because we were just talking about it, and then some more scenes just came, just popped into my mind. I was like, oh my god, that was freaking epic. 0.5. 8.5. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my honest opinion, my review uh, about the movie, I give it a five, and the reason I give it a five again is because you mean eight point five? No, I give it a five, and the reason I give it a five is because again, the story. There were so many action sequences, but not enough substance of the story, in my opinion, and not to mention the story. Towards the end of the film, I was let down. Okay, I was let down. I can't go into detail and tell you why, but the flow of the story to me was not a powerful story. If you're gonna take a powerful title, like Captain America Civil War, if you're gonna change it, by any means, and I, and I tried to force myself to love this movie so much, I tried. I was sitting next to Lee and I looked at him and I said, do you feel anything yet? <laughs> and he was like, no. <laughs> and I kept looking back, are you there yet? He's like, no, I'm like, I'm trying. I was really trying to love this movie. I, was I, trying I, I, I don't to, believe that. I was trying my best, New I York promise second. you. I promise I was trying I mean, my best. I mean, I laughed at the parts that was funny. There were some parts that were really funny. Now that's one thing they did that was what they did that they did very well was they used little comedy to break up the seriousness. But let's be serious here. There's nothing funny about the Civil War. Like if we really look at in the comics what it was about, we have a scene where Captain America is beating the Punisher half to death, and the Punisher refuses to fight back. And it's and it's like oh wait oh you talking about the comics yeah oh, okay, and it's okay, like okay. Well, why won't you fight back that, that's not a deleted scene because yeah. what you stand for I you are what we all strive to I be thought you was... that see that is powerful why and that's not in the movie you will not see that scene <laughs> okay so you know all in all you know I give it a five point five Gaio eight point five Lee uh, six point seven. <laughs> Why you gotta be the eyeball? Fuck off. Just man. give it a six. It's point. my fucking rating. I rated it the way I wanted to rate it.